So what's America's favorite pasta sauce? Alfredo. What's America's favorite pasta shape? Tortellini. You put two together and you're gonna get a great dish. And that is what we're doing today. So the one question I have for you guys is, who's hungry? All right, boys and girls, to make your pasta, this is what you're gonna need. You wanna get one large bowl, followed by three cups of all-purpose flour, five eggs, some salt, a splash of olive oil, and we mix. I'm gonna get your forearms ready because this is a lot of mixing you're about to do here. Get your hands in there. And once you've got it to a consistency that you can't really mix in the bowl anymore, pour it all out onto your work surface. And you're gonna get to the point where you don't think it's all gonna come together at once, but just keep kneading because it'll all form that one cohesive ball that you're looking for. Oh God. <laughs> it's <f> miserable. <laughs> So after around, let me catch my breath. So after around 10 minutes of kneading your dough, you should come out with a nice, smooth dough that looks like this. Um, it's worth the hard work. You know, stay in there, don't add any water, get the dough like this. So what you're gonna wanna do with your dough is put it in saran wrap and wrap it up and leave it on the counter in a warm area for around an hour before you start flattening it or working with it at all. So the second thing you're gonna do is make the filling for your tortellini. It consists of four, Chicken thighs, because thighs are way better tasting than breasts. Just throwing that out there right now. Season these with salt, ground pepper, smoked paprika, garlic powder, and this last one's up to you, just depending what your heat level is. I like mine a little spicy, so I'm gonna put some cayenne pepper. Mix it around, make sure you season both sides. And you're gonna wanna get these chicken and cut them up into little pieces because we're ultimately gonna put these in a food processor and make them into little tiny chunks. Grab your chicken, throw it on the cast iron skillet. What you're gonna do now is take it off the heat and put it into a separate bowl. So the next thing you're gonna to do to make your filling is you're gonna to wanna to chop up some finely diced parsley and you're gonna to wanna to shred your own Parmigiano or Reggiano and do not buy the pre-shredded stuff. Buy the big block and shred it yourself because it's a way better flavor. Add all of your ingredients that you just prepared into a food processor. Your chicken that you just cooked, few pinches of parsley, decent helping of Parmigiano or Reggiano. So what you're gonna to wanna to do now is pulse it until it forms little tiny clumps of chicken so you're able to stuff your tortellini later and you're not trying to make a puree or anything. Just nice little shredded piece of chicken that you can put into tortellini. It should come out to the consistency of this. Now it's time to actually shape the pasta dough into the tortellinis that you're about to make. First, you wanna start with your dough that you've had resting for an hour or two. And that is what it should look like after an hour. First, you're gonna to wanna to flour your work surface and you're gonna to wanna to split your dough into manageable sized pieces. And get a rolling pin and roll out the dough into a long rectangle. Then proceed to get your stand mixer out if you have one and slowly on the lowest speed, start pressing your dough out. And you're gonna to wanna to do this a couple times and slowly move down the thickness of the pasta until you get kind of midway through. Until you got pasta that looks just like this, long, thin sheets. All right, so once you've got your pasta all rolled out to almost the thinnest the machine will go, you're gonna wanna measure your pasta out and cut two by two inch little squares to put your filling into. So to fill the little piece of pasta with stuffing, first, you're gonna wanna get a little piece of filling and make it a little tiny tight ball. Then place it in the middle of your pasta, get your finger that is wet with water, and wet half of the pasta on the edge. 
Then get the other side of the pasta, fold it, and press down, making a seal. And then get your pasta and wet it at the other corner and scrunch the bottom to form your little piece of tortellini pasta. So after making your tortellini pasta, it's now time to cook them. What you wanna do is boil some water and add a decent amount of salt. So once your water start boiling, these only take about one to two minutes to fully cook because it's freshly made pasta. Proceed to pour all your tortellini. Give them a little mix in the water. And the way you'll know that the tortellini is done because they'll all float to the surface, as you can see here. And get a spider of some sort and remove them. What you're also going to want to do is take around a half of a cup of the pasta water to use for your sauce. Now we can go on to making our homemade Alfredo sauce. First, you're going to want one and a quarter cups of heavy whipping cream, followed by half of a cup of butter. This will be followed by five cloves of pressed garlic. You're gonna to wanna to keep this at a simmer. Proceed to add two cups of Parmigiano Reggiano and also add some dill. Try some black pepper to taste and some salt. And once your pasta is at the consistency that you like it, proceed to dump all of your tortellini inside of it. So after the tortellinis have been in the sauce, they're heated up again, the sauce is the thickness that you want, it's time to plate. And this is what they look like at the moment. You wanna finish this off with some nice slice of Parmigiano Reggiano. Some red pepper flakes and a pinch of parsley. So, this is what you end up with. This is your tortellini stuffed with some chicken with a homemade Alfredo sauce on top. All right, so let's give it a try. Absolutely unreal how good this tastes. First of all, when you make this, you taste the difference in the Alfredo sauce. It doesn't have synthetic flavoring. It's all natural. The Parmesan cheese, spending the little extra money to grate your own, literally just makes it such a pleasurable experience on the taste buds. The pasta, it cooks soft, it's tender. It's just so much better than buying the, the tortellini you get at the store. You know, the tortellini store, it's hard. It doesn't have any flavor. You can taste everything in this because it's so fresh and the ingredients are so rich to you. Honestly, I have, I have no complaints. This is absolutely a delicious dish. I recommend everyone make this for the family. And if you enjoyed this video, drop a like, subscribe if you have it, and I'll see you in the next one. Again, stay hungry, everyone.